Hi guys, this is a 12 volts 90 amperes car alternator. You have already seen in many of my previous videos. And guys, this is a 1.5 HP 4000 RPM permanent magnet DC motor. This is a 12 volts car battery 35 ampere R. I'm going to test its voltage with multimeter, pointing it towards 20 volts DC mode. As you can see that the voltage is only 9.5 volts meaning that it is discharged. The voltage should be 12 to indicate that it is charged. Testing this DC motor with this battery. The motor has started operating. Speed is slow because this is 180 volts and I am feeding it only 12 volts DC. So guys, both the motor and the vice have been stuck pretty good to this wooden board. And now I have to install the alternator on this vice and then connect them together with the help of some belt system. So guys, now it's time to connect the motor and the alternator together mechanically. So I'm going to use these two pressure cooker rubber belts. So guys, yes, both the belts have been connected to the alternator and the motor and it seems like it's working. Yeah, it's working pretty good. It should hold the demonstration. So guys, test running the setup with the 12 volts battery. Let's check it. Superb. Cool. Now guys, for running this DC motor, I'm going to use this 220 volts AC supply from home socket. which is actually 260 volts much higher than 220 volts so yeah this is what i'm going to use and guys because ac is coming out from this and we have to run a dc motor so i'm going to use this ac to dc converter plus motor speed controller i made it around two years back and works pretty good it is 1500 watts so yeah this side is ac and this side is dc and this is the motor speed controlling unit low and high at present it is at the lowest the terminals have been connected now guys let's connect the controller to the 220 volts AC supply just to check that everything is connected electrically you see that it is working perfectly I have turned it off yeah because of this flywheel it is still running and also there is no vibration the alignment is just perfect so guys this what you see is an old fan speed controller and you see this filament coming out from it it is the resistance so i'm going to use it to limit the current flowing to the rotor winding of the alternator from the armature yeah it's very hard i will have to cut it off and guys in uh, my previous alternator video i told you that one of the two brush terminals is connected internally to the body of the alternator as a negative and to the other brush terminal 
I have connected this green wire to which positive supply will be connected. Negative will be connected here and positive will be connected here to excite the rotor winding. Now guys, this alternator project that you see, it is about uh, the self excitation of the car alternator. So the target here is not to connect any external power source to excite the rotor winding of the car alternator and it is going to get self excited at a certain RPM. So for that reason I am going to use this high RPM DC motor. It is 4000 RPM and I am hoping that this much RPM is going to be enough to excite the rotor winding of the alternator which in turn is uh, finally going to generate high current and 12 volts which is needed for this project. So in one of my previous videos I tried it with my hand so it was the rope rotation testing but I could not achieve it uh, the self excitation so yeah I am doing it this way with the help of a DC motor so yeah let's do that now guys as I said that this green terminal is connected to one of the brushes okay so positive supply will be given to this terminal but as I said since I am going to self excite this alternator I cannot give it any external power supply or connected to an external power source so what I'm going to do is connect it to the output of the alternator the positive output like this and remember guys never connect the brush terminal directly to the positive output of the alternator the positive output of the alternator is going to produce high current which is not needed for the rotor to get excited obviously the rotor excites at 2 amperes or 3 amperes max so to limit that high current coming out from the alternator through this positive terminal i am going to use this filament from the fan speed controller Let's tie it up with a click. Now guys negative brush terminal has been connected internally to the body of the alternator and positive has been connected to the positive output of the alternator through a resistor in between. Now all we have to do is connect a multimeter and start the setup. Now guys here is the simple multimeter that needs to be connected to the alternator with the help of these jumper cables. Now I got them from Banggood's link for these will be provided in the description i got an entire set like a uh, hundred pieces so yeah i'm going to use these now red is positive obviously so positive will be connected to this terminal mean positive of the alternator okay positive has been connected now comes the negative the negative will be connected to the body of the alternator so i'm going to connect it over here because this is also connected to the body of the alternator done now all i have to do is start it and point the meter towards 20 volts yeah i will take it to 200 volts so yeah let's start it the motor speed controller knob is at zero at present and also the switch is turned off let's turn it on okay get ready guys motor has started voltage indicated zero okay and guys as you can see that the motor is running pretty good you see very smooth you can see the setup is so smooth it is running pretty good guys just amazing not slipping and these are the pressure cooker belts that I've used Now let's increase the speed of this motor because still the alternator is not yet self excited. So this means that more RPM is needed. Now guys get ready for the show. You will see a very important effect in this video. I am really excited to show you. I am going to increase the speed and a time will come when this alternator is going to crack its threshold and get self excited. And exactly at that moment, large current will start flowing through this resistor. At present, no current is flowing. Large current will start flowing through this resistor and start feeding rotor. Okay? So yeah, let's increase the speed. And at that moment, you will also see sudden increase in the voltage displayed on the multimeter display screen. At present, zero volts. Okay? More. 
increasing the voltage again more and more so guys you can see that it is producing 15.62 volts high voltage now for charging you can see oh god that is very nice and guys here as you can see that the wire is red hot super crazy this is the current that is being fed to the rotor winding of the alternator by the armature winding without any external source input to the rotor winding it is super red hot very dangerous and the voltage being generated by the alternator is around 5.30 volts you see no other source is connected multimeter is here this is the controller motor controller that is feeding power to the motor and the alternator is getting self excited and generating electricity now let's connect some load to it before this wire burns off okay so guys this is a car headlamp bulb 60 watts now there is a possibility that the wire is very thin it might get damaged negative connected to negative alternator is very hot right now okay uh you see the bulb is glowing and the voltage there on the multimeter screen is also decreasing you see now the voltage has reduced to 12.2 volts the self excitation mode was a final success guys so guys i hope that you learned a lot from this video cool wire still red hot let's turn it off okay it's turned off and the excitation is gone also the voltage is now indicating zero so guys that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe and if you have any queries you can always ask them in comments thank you